Good morning, John. Welcome to 2021. When you asked video, you walked us through what you thought 2020 was gonna be like a year ago and how you feel like you did. And I just, I have to just blow you out of the water right now. I am way, way far ahead of you because John, when I was 10 in 1990, I wrote an essay called What I Think Life Will Be Like in the Year 2020. And I would like to read it to you. And then we're gonna go over my historical timeline of what I think is going to happen every year from 1990 to the year 2020. I have been waiting for this moment for a long time. This is reason enough to have become a video blogger, John. I think life in 2020 will be really neat. I think there will be cures for almost every illness and people will be 200 years old. There's a bit of a math problem here. If the oldest person on earth in 1990 was 110 years old, they can only be 140. That's as, that's as old as they can be in 2020. Unless we're like bringing people back to life. There will also be alien races that have brought new technologies to earth. Maybe we'll even find ways to make the, oh, make the dead alive again. Okay, so never mind. So there will be no more extinct animals. Okay. Okay, that was a twist. I didn't expect that. Actually, we kind of have figured out a little bit of de-extinction work. Basically, I think life in 2020 will be cool. Okay. But, John, I know what you're really curious about. My year-by-year -year timeline of what's going to happen. Oh, God, this actually starts in 1980. So I did 10 years of stuff that actually happened. Like, cool man Steve McQuinn dies of cancer. Who is that? Steve McQueen? So the first thing I have, 1991, Iraq releases hostages. This actually happened in 1990, but in December, so I was close. 1992, way of living in space invented. The ISS launched in 1998, so not too far off. 1993, peace in the Middle East. Shoot. Uh, first community on the moon, we have not got there yet. 1995, electric cars, the GM EV1 was released in 1996. I'm not bragging, but I'm bragging. Followed quickly in 1996 by Go to Mars. So unless we're talking about the Pathfinder mission, which was in 1997, uh, no. 1998, 100 television stations without a satellite. This was what I was worried about. 1999, not an election year, first black president. But we did get that. Year 2000, cure for cancer. I'm sure that all cancer was cured in the year 2000. There's just, turns out there's a lot of cancers, little Hank, I'm sorry. 2002, only three years after the first black president, we had the first woman president, so something hinky happened here. 2004, true ghost discovered. That didn't happen. 2008, oil line breaks, many animals suffer. Now, I just had to point that one out because the Deepwater Horizon was 2010. So that was kind of close. I'm sure there was also an oil spill in 2008. 2009, rainforest lost forever. So I thought life was going to be pretty cool in 2020, but I thought all the rainforests were going to be gone. So that's a win. 2011, I'm not making this up. Burt Reynolds dies of heart condition. Burt Reynolds died of cardiac arrest in 2018. I don't know what to say. I'm not right, but I'm not that wrong. 2012, superior fish beings. I don't know what they do, but they are there. They exist. 2016, thousands of aliens come in peace. We're still holding out hope for that. And what was my prediction for the year 2020, John? What was it? Well, I can tell you right now I got it wrong, but I had every chance of getting it right. Garfield turns 80. Like... Why didn't I just look at when Garfield was born and then do the math? No, Garfield does not turn 80 this year. Garfield turned 42 years old this year. I could have just looked it up. And now, John, we are headed into the great unknown, the time beyond 2020. Thank you for making stuff with me, and I'll see you on Tuesday.